as you look at Rafa Camara. Oh man, Nino do Brasil, the boy from Brazil. This is a momentous occasion because the boy from Recife is taking part in his final ever kart race right here this afternoon at Adria. He starts on pole position in the Oakberry 202 Kart Republic alongside 220 Nicolas Solov, who qualified fastest and dominated all five heats and his pre final this morning. 201, the Londoner, the Red Bull Junior, still for the Independent Karting Republic of Dean Church, starts out of grid three alongside Carol Pashevich in the OTK Tony Cup, who breaks the KR stranglehold. Carol 240 is the pole for Joachim Ward's legendary Ward racing team. We go back to the third row of the grid in his first ever senior race, the cool kid from the Caribbean. It is the Jamaican sensation. Alex Powell, 203, the Mercedes Junior, also in a KR with Mercedes F1 manager, Gwen LeGrew here at the circuit to watch his young protege starts alongside Zachary David in a Sauber Kart, Re Kart Republic. Zach back on track after that forgettable incident a couple of months ago. The Sauber Kart Republic starts on the third row of the grid. As you look at speaking of Formula One, that is former Formula One mechanic Jordan Hankins the last few seasons working with Valtteri Bottas in the Mercedes F1 team. This weekend, he's on the spanners for Joel Bergström in the Forza Racing x who starts on the fourth row of the group. Rafa in his last ever kart race appropriately from pole position. Zoloff out of two. Lindblad three. Karol Pashevich four. Alex Powell, Zachary David, Joel Bergström, Gustav Wisniewski, Keanu Bloom, and another Menino do Brasil, Matheus Ferreira. Francesco Marenghi, Jesse Lacey, the Australian out of 12 alongside the Italian, then it's Bora, Arnold, Ricky Lou for Ward Racing, Flavio Olivieri, King Nakamura Berta back in 17, Nuradini, Giuliano Holtzem, and Yiri Becicca. Menya Croce and the last appearance of the Cosmic Racing Department is alongside Rasmus Anderson, Luca Samolisto, Giovanni Trentina, Scriven, Prochaska, Torben Grundel, Marcus Delic, Maximilian Offs, and the Canadian on debut in WSK, Jason Long, Verhulance, Vladimir, Maciej Kraus. And on the final row of the grid, Gustav Dragsted and Maxim Reb. Rafa leads the field up to the line. And we race. Textbook perfect start from Kamada. He's already gone as Harvard Lindblad slides down the inside. And the Red Bull Junior, the Londoner, into second place. Great start also from Alex Powell, who's got up ahead of Joel Bergstrom. The Swede is ahead of Harvard Lindblad. Sorry, ahead of Nikolaj Soloff and getting the KR drivers confused slightly. Nikolaj Soloff is being headed for the first time this weekend. He has dominated proceedings up to this point, but now he's got a fight. He's back in position five. Great start from Joel for the Forza Racing Team. He's in position four. Make that P5 because Nikolaj Soloff, before the first lap has even finished, starts to recover some ground lost. After a less than ideal start, he's in position four. Kamara leads down into turn one. Lindblad is staying with him. From Brazil, from the Queen's England, they run one, two. And then the cool kick from the Caribbean, that's the Mercedes Junior, Alex Powell, in his first ever senior OK race. He's in position three, right to the ripple strip. Aggressively does Lindblad there, Soloff. And we go back to Zachary David, the Filipino driver in position six, Lindblad launches into the lead. Kamara tries to fight back. He'll have to do something very quickly because Alex Powell is right there, but even more worrying is Nikola Zoloff. Powell down the inside, it's all going wrong for, for Kamara. From pole position, he's back into P3 as Zoloff ragged over the ripple strip. A WRC moment, he was sideways on the exit to the chicane. Lindblad from England has got half a second over Alex Powell from Jamaica. Kamara from Brazil, P3. Then we go back to Zoloff. Bergstrom is staying with them as Zoloff goes down the inside and picks him off. Kamara from pole position is now off the podium. Bergstrom around the outside. He'll try and cut back into the 10 meter wide right hand sweeper. Kamara goes defensive. His last ever kart race. At the moment, he's off the podium. Bergstrom will try and line him up into the hairpin. 
Rafa intelligently puts it in the middle of the track as he tries to regain some momentum. Look at Zoloff, ragged over the ripple strip, an absolute WRC move. Threw it down over the chicane. He was sideways over the ripple strip. The fastest driver on the track is Gustav Wisniewski. In the opening stages of this race, there is the Sauber Kart Republic of the Pole as Bergstrom moves up to P4. Come to fights back. The two Sauber Kart Republics of Zachary David and Gustav Wisniewski. They're ahead of Karol Pashevich, Keanu Bloom, and the second boy from Brazil, Matthias Ferreira, P10. Good start from Kim Nakamura Berta. The newly crowned junior world champion has come from grid 17 to be up into position 11, ahead of the young Australian on debut in WSK competition from Melbourne for Shemek Europe. It's Jesse Lacey. A very wide turn in from Arvid Limblad. The gap is just 0.2 of a second. Soloff goes purple in sector one, purple in sector two, purple in sector three. He records a 48-133. He was three tenths of a second faster than Limblad last time round. He's just playing with them at the moment. Diego Paolo karting, DPK karting, the team that is based. A stone's throw from Fernando Alonso's Asturias circuit in the north of Spain. They have given the Bulgarian Lion a cart which is absolutely lightning quick here this weekend. But track positions everything. He's in position three. Alex in his first ever senior race, P2. But he gives the slipstream, he gives the toe back to the Bulgarian. It is the Londoner still in the lead. Now power responds and he goes purple in the middle sector. It is Card Republic, one, two, three, as Zoloff sends it down the inside. Turn three, goes position two. At the end of the first quarter of the OK final, the WSK final cup for 2021. Bergstrom is still holding P4, one step off the podium. He's pulled away from Gustav Wisniewski, Rafa Kamada, well, from pole position, his last ever race, he won't make the podium at this rate. He's fallen back to position six. Down through the chicane, slightly cleaner that time from Nikola Zoloff. It is a joy to watch. Alex Powell has not given up. Stays with the Bulgarian and Nikola Zoloff, a 48.025, goes purple again. We'll check the times of Joel Bergstrom. Two to three tenths of a second off the KRs that run one, two, three here this afternoon. It is England, Bulgaria and Jamaica who round out the podium at the moment. The yellow flag is out in the background. We'll try and tell you who that was for in just a moment. As Nicola just sits there, Alex is staying with him. We still have not even passed the halfway point of this race yet. Unfortunately, after that great start, the yellow flag was displayed for Jesse Lacey. The Australian and the German, Juliano Holtzem, are both out. Joel Bergs from the gap last time. 2.3 seconds. It remains the same fastest on the track now as Karol Pashevich. Four Ward Racing, 2.40. He's back in seventh place. Eighth place, in fact, he's 5.2 seconds off the fight for the lead. He needs the Card Republics to fight amongst themselves. That's unlikely to happen until the dying laps at least. If Zoloff just doesn't drive by Arvid Lindblad, Arvid will fight though. He is the WSK Supermaster Series champion. Euro Series champion, I should say, as Lindblad is now passed by Nikola Zoloff. Well, this is ominous. We have not even passed half race distance. Zoloff in the lead. There's Bergstrom in the background just ahead of Wisniewski and Kamada. He was the WSK. Supermaster Series champion at the start of the season. Kamara in P6 behind Wisniewski, ahead of Keanu Bloom, the Euro Series champion. That's Harvard Limblad, and he's in second place. Alex Powell just sits there, staying with his more experienced semi-teammates. So many cards being managed by Dino Chiesa, the legendary team manager who's managed so many drivers over the years, the likes of Giorgio Pantano, Alessandro Manetti, Nico Rosberg, of course, Lewis. He took Lewis to the 2000 Formula A Championship, what, two decades ago when Lewis won five out of eight finals. 
in 2000. That was aboard a, I can't honestly remember if it was a CRG or the DC-1 project. I think it was CRG, regardless. It's the same engineering nous that has got one, two, three on the track. You all, Bergstrom, running for Jamie Crox, heads forward to Racington with the GFR tuned TM engines ahead of Gustav Fisniewski. Bergstrom driving superbly here this afternoon. At the moment, he's off the podium. And <laughs> Solov with a 47.743, three tenths of a second faster than Lindblad last time round, despite passing the Londoner, the WSK Euro Series champion, the Red Bull Junior, for the lead of the race. They throw it down through the chicane. Lindblad won't give up a fight, though. Give up without a fight. The gap, 0.2 of a second. Lindblad responds with a 47.704. Half race distance, the WSK Final Cup. Here at Adria Karting Raceway, and it's not over yet. If he does fight young Alex, will be right there to challenge both Arvid and Nicola. Your Bergstrom in the background has just been passed. He's back to P6. Wisniewski has gone through, as has Rafa Kamara. So Rafa, who traditionally does like to start on lower tyre pressures, is in P5 at the moment. Not out of it, but needs a disaster to fall the front, before the front three. Nikola Zola from Sofia for the Spanish team of DPK Karting. Diego Paolo Karting in the Car Republic, powered by the IAMI. The Londoner, that's Harvard Lindblad. Over the ripple strip is the Red Bull Junior. Alex Powell, his father John, a former competitor in the World Rally Championship. Around about a decade ago, his first senior race is in P3, Bergstrom. He was next in line as Alex skates down into the right hander. A slight correction that time from Lindblad. Bergstrom has gone back to sixth place. Lindblad staying with, look at the rubber being painted down on this 1,302 metre circuit. An hour south of the ancient city of Venice as they come onto the straight with eight laps now remaining. Richens up the mixture. Fuel pouring into the 125cc engine as they bounce off the 16,000 RPM rev limiter. Zachary David, Keanu Bloom, Francesco Marenghi going through. Marenghi in P12 behind Arnold. And Plantina, Nuradini, Kim Nakamura Berta, position 15. Kamara. Can he make it back onto the podium? He's a fair way off, but we've still got eight laps to race. Lindblad is staying with Nikola Zoloff. Bounces over the grip through the left-hander. That'll cost him just a little bit of momentum. Over the ripple strip, gets the run, a tighter line, ever so slightly from Arvid Lindblad. And the benefit of the slipstream, he looks over his right shoulder. Alex Powell is losing touch. Kamara is back into P4. Wants to finish what has been a brilliant karting career in style before joining us for the 2022 Italian F4 Championship. Powered by Arba, presented by WSK Promotion. Rafa Kamara at the moment, one step off the podium. We thought Zoloff would drive into the distance. Such has been his form since the outset of qualifying. He took pole position with a time of 47.643. But just a few moments ago, Arvid Lindblad records a 47.577. Arvid, halfway through the final, sure he's been helped by the rubber being painted onto the circuit. Arvid has gone faster than Nicholas' qualifying time. They've also both gone faster than the majority of KZ drivers here as well. Lindblad staying with him, waiting to make his move. Zoloff, the Eastern European, versus Arvid with the Swedish father, the Indian mother from the Queen's England for the Italian team in second place and the Jamaican in third place. The final quarter of the race, you can see how he bounces over the grip, tries to get the run. Zoloff just accelerates clean down through the chicane and ever so tight or slightly tighter light from Arvid looks behind he's got breathing space a 47.526 now for Zoloff they're going purple every lap Zoloff has got two tenths of a second this is going to be a nail biting finish
the Independent Karting Republic of Dean Church. Dino Chiesa, they run one, two, three. Alex is now 1.2 seconds behind Lindblad. But at the moment, it looks as though he'll take the podium in his debut race in OK Senior. Lindblad loses a little bit of time on the entry to that left-hander into the hairpin. Down through the chicane with four laps now remaining. There's Kamada going through ahead of Wisniewski. Bergstrom still P6. Head of Pashevich for Hera, Zachary David, and the Austrian Keanu Bloom. Alex goes through. There's Rafa. He has got four laps left to race in what has been a brilliant karting career. It is Kart Republic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Joel Bergstrom for Forza Racing in the TM Powered X3, only breaking the KR stranglehold. Matthias Ferreira in P8. Zachary David, Keanu Bloom, Giovanni Trentin, Felix Arnold's driving nicely. The three Germans, Arnold, Rem, Nuradini, just outside the top 10. Maxim Rem has come from the back of the grid. Maxim Rem started grid 34 in the 225 Ricky Flynn Motorsport card. He's up to position 13. 47503, another purple lap for Lindblad, but he's three tenths of a second behind. There is Alex. Straight lines the ripple strip. Alex goes straight over it. There is Rafa. Behind him is Carol Pashevich. The Ward Racing Tony Kart is quick as well, but he's left it too late. Behind him, Wisniewski fighting with Matthias Ferreira and Zachary David as Arvid closes up on the back of Nicola. He is closer this time with 2.6 kilometers to race. Next time under the bridge. Down through the chicane. This time, Lindblad gets the run. Slightly sideways on the exit. Hits the slipstream. Alex is too far back to worry. Both the Englishman and the Bulgarian. A nail-biting finish coming up. Nikola Zoloff, he took pole position in qualifying. He won five from five heats. The pre-final this morning, he leads the final. He's a lap and a half from victory in the 2021 WSK Final Cup. Lynn Black wants it though, the Red Bull Junior. He closes up the gap down to one-tenth of a second. Last lap next time round. Into the heavy, dives down the inside. Lindblad leads. What a move from Harvard. Lindblad, the 2021 WSK Euro Series champion, takes the last lap board in position one. Fabulous pass by Harvard. Nicolas Zoloff, who has dominated the weekend, will finish in P2 unless he can do something spectacular in the remaining 800 meters. Lindblad already goes defensive. Watch him white line it into the hairpin. Zoloff around the outside, Lindblad just lets it drift, almost cops a touch, looks over his left shoulder. We are metres from the chequered flag, the OK final here at Adria. The WSK final cup will go to Kart Republic, but we don't yet know if it will be a Bulgarian or an Englishman who stands on the top step of the podium. Looks over his left shoulder, gets the drive out of the corner, down through the chicane. What a race, he waited to the penultimate lap. That checkered flag does wave. What a victory for Arvid Lindblad. The WSK Euro Series champion has now won the WSK Final Cup as well. A nail-biting finish. Nikolaj Soloff will be absolutely devastated. Sure, second place is a fine result, but he has dominated since qualifying. He won five out of five heats. He won the pre-final, but 5.3 seconds. He led from most of the final after not the best start, falling back. As Arvid is congratulated by Matthias, as UL going through, he drove brilliantly to finish in P6. Nikola Zoloff though, until lap 19. He was in P1, but finishes in second place, Arvid Lindblad. It will be God Save the Queen, the national anthem of the Queen's England that rings out here in the north of Italy. Zoloff will be nothing but disappointed with second. He has been superb all week though. And Alex Powell on debut in OK, the final step of the podium for the Jamaican. Rafa Kamada, 
we say farewell and we'll see you in Formula 4 in the Italian Championship next year. He finishes a step off the podium ahead of Karol Pashevich, Joel Bergstrom, the Herder Wisniewski, Zach David and the Austrian Keanu Bloom rounds out the 10. The four non-finishers, Herolan Nuradini, Torben Grundel, Jesse Lacey and Giuliano Holtzam. The three Germans and the one Australian not taking the chequered flag this afternoon. The podium presentation for the OK final. In third place, the Argenti Motorsport Cut Republic driver. It is the Jamaican sensation, Alex Powell. Second place for DPK Karting, the Bulgarian Lion in the Kart Republic, Nikola Zoloff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he won the 2021 WSK Euro Series and he's also finished the 2021 season with a victory in the final cup. The Red Bull Junior from the Queen's England. Welcome to the top step of the podium, Arvid Lindblad. The national anthem of Great Britain. The OK podium here this afternoon. Third place, Alex Powell. Second, Nikolaj Soloff. And the WSK Final Cup champion, Arvid Lindblad. Nikola, Alex, if you'd like to step on to the top step. Thank you, Alex, Nicola, and Arvid. We'll just get a quick word with the race winner, Arvid Lindblad. You waited. We know the speed that uh, that Nicola had all week. How on earth did you do that? Yeah, I'm not sure myself. Um, yeah, it was a really difficult race. Uh, I got in the lead uh, immediately because I knew that was sort of... I tried to do what, to hope what happened in the junior race would happen again, uh, so that if I was in the lead, I could get away. Uh, that didn't didn't pan out like that. Uh, Nicola passed me probably on around I think lap eight, lap nine, uh, and then I was just really focused on making sure I stayed stayed as close to po as possible behind him to make sure that I could try to attack again at the end. Uh, it was hard work. Uh, he was really fast. I had to really push uh, every lap, um, but I could I could stick with him. And I knew with two laps to go, it was sort of the time to make the move um, because on the last lap it would have been very difficult. Um, so I. Went for the move in the last airpin with two laps to go and then just defended as hard as I could on the last lap uh, to try and hold on to the lead and uh, win the race. Um, so yeah, it was really difficult, but I'm really glad with the result and I'm just really grateful to everyone who's helped me, helped me this week. So thank you. Congratulations, Arvid Lindblad, the WSK Euro Series champion and now the final cup champion as well.